Hi guys, so today we're doing something a little bit different. So, um, usually my videos are drawing or tutorials or art advice. Sometimes I'll throw in, well, I used to sometimes throw in a few like show off you videos. Look at what I got. Um, but since you guys are more pretty interested in my art, I've been posting more about art. This is also about art. Please don't run away. Please don't run away. I promise this is about art. So, the other day, I was approached by a company called Galmon. They asked me to review some products for them. I'm not being paid for this. Usual YouTuber spiel, not being paid, honest review. I, I'm, I'm telling the truth, I am not being paid for this, but they did send me this tablet for free. Now, I've never used their products before. I've used tablets before. I normally draw on iPad Pro right now, but I used to use regular tablets, you know. We all start somewhere, and I started with pencils, crayons, evolved towards tablets, and now I use an iPad. But anyways, this company approached me. They told me that they wanted me to review a product for them. I said, absolutely. Who doesn't want to learn how to draw with a more affordable option? Because, you know, Wacom and all that, they're the industry standard, and they're expensive as all heck. Who can afford to start off with a $100, $80, $200 tablet. God forbid you get yourself a Cintiq right away. Um, I started off with a Wacom Bamboo and I went towards Intuos. I think they still make Bamboos, but they're different now. It's like, I don't even know. I haven't used a Bamboo in years. But I started off with their old Bamboo, which was like their very first starter one. And then I got an Intuos, which was like their next level, but now Intuos is like their first level. I don't know what they're doing anymore. Anyways, I also got like budget tablets from Amazon and I generally like them. I got a Huion, I gave my, I, my sister uses one. I've never used this one though, so let's see, because this one I believe might actually be a little bit cheaper than them. Like less expensive, not cheap, I don't know what their quality is really like. So let's get it right into it. I'm going to admit first off that I actually did open this because as you can see, um, Amazon? did not put this in a box. I don't know what is up with them lately. I'm assuming it's because y'all ain't letting them sleep enough. Jeff Bezos, let your employees go to sleep. This is sleepy person behavior. This is the kind of thing I would do if I was asleep. Just slap a sticker on a box and throw it in the truck. Like, no, you gotta put this package neatly in a box, like. But anyways, I had to look at it to make sure that it wasn't like falling apart in or anything. So I actually did open this already. And before we get right into it though, I want to point out some of the features in the back since the thing's already open. So I do not know where they're based in like the world. I mean, the thing says it's made in China, but I don't know if it's a Chinese based company. I'm pretty sure it is. Anyways, it says, creates par excellence, battery free, energy conservation. The tablet adopts the leading passive electromagnetic technology, which makes you never recharge the pen. Um, so this isn't the best English. So I'm, this is not, but it's better than some of the worst English I've seen, that's for sure. It's definitely legible. But we're gonna keep reading. Classic, intelligent, 16 by 9 wide design, which is classic, matches most of the dimensions of PCs. It can identify your current display mode intelligently. Ultra thin, simple. The new tablet has a very simple appearance and ultra thin design, makes it looking professional. High quality, high grade. The tablet has 8,192 professional pressure sensitivity which can help you create high quality artwork. Okay, so um, I'm not very smart, and this is why um, I'm an artist and not a mathematician. I'm bad at reading numbers, so don't feel bad about your language skills because my math skills are god awful. Anyways, personality, humanity. The tablet has 12 customized keys. You can define the function of the key according to your habit in the driver. So I'm assuming you go in your drivers and you program the keys. It's just like a Wacom, I believe, and other tablets I've used. And creative entertainment. Galmon tablet provides you an a incredible platform to create. You can draw or play games with kinds of software. Um, I'm not sure what the play games means, but 
I mean, there are some games you can play on the computer that you could use a tablet in, yeah, because it's basically like another, um, you know, like, kind of like a mouse, another type of, um, movement, um, input device, so yeah, you could do that, they're not lying. And then, battery-free pen, you do not need a pen for, I mean, a battery for the pen, you, you don't need a pen for the battery, you don't need that either. 8192 levels, pressure sensitivity, 10 mm reading height, 5080 LPI resolution, 266 PPS report rate. I don't know what that is. Um, the 254 by 158.8 millimeter active area. And this is a really important thing. We, the system requirements. You can use it on a computer, a Mac, or an Android phone. You can use this for a, in a phone. I have not tried it yet though, but I will give you an update. So, system requirements, Windows 7, 8, 8.1, or 10. I have a Windows 10 computer. If you're using anything um, older than Windows 7, get with the times, old man. Mac OS 10.2 or later, I don't know what, how recent that is. And Android 6.0 or later, I don't know how old that is either. Despite using an Android phone, I have no idea. And then, just information on how you can find more information on the tablet. And the package contents, pen tablet, battery free pen, nibs and clip, pen case, felt pouch for nibs, USB cable, and quick start guide. So now we're gonna get into the opening of the tablet. I have my address covered so you guys can't find me. But if you like the stickers, I actually sell those in my shop, which I often link in the description. Um, so first thing we got here, is this like case okay I'm doing this one-handed because I do have a stand but I am having trouble um, holding it over well let's see if I can get it to hand over all right I do have it on the stand now I can use two hands so this is the tablet it has all these little buttons I think it said 12 buttons that you can um what do you call it program program to your um I'm sorry I'm so dumb. <laughs> I'm sorry. Program to your whatever pro controls you like. I usually don't fool with them. I just draw. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty large. It's pretty big compared to my laptop. It's not the most portable tablet in the world, but like, is any tablet the most portable one? If you want a really small tablet or a portable tablet, I don't think you need to get like this thing is for like sitting in your room what are you getting a tablet for it's called a notebook it comes with this like pouch a carrying pouch to put it in so i suppose it is pretty portable <laughs> it's just pretty large use a bigger case and it comes with these like little felt pouches for the pen um yeah they're pretty nice it has this felt pouch to keep your little pen nipples so these the this little claw thing to grab them out because if you've ever had your nipples or <laughs> your pen nipples get shaved down then you'd know how hard it is to remove them <laughs> but this is the pen nipples or nibs I'm calling them pen nipples now and then it comes with the instructions if you're a smart boy and you want to learn more about how to you know make it work. Oh, it has this um, thing. It says, Dear customer, thanks for choosing Galmon product. We wish it brings you a pleasant travel of creating. If you meet any problems with the product, feel free to contact us and we will try our best to solve it. Contact us via email, service at galmon.net, or chat with us at the bottom right corner window after visiting www.galmon.net. Galmon customer service and then the warranty card on the back and it comes with Just where you go to download your drivers And here's how you connect it to your Android phone So you put it in portrait mode make sure your phone or tablet OS is following and You just choose the right OTG adapter from the package which depends on USB Port. Oh, so I know what that's saying. I think you just use the adapter. It comes with some adapters. We're gonna get to those in a moment, though. 
Um, this is, what is this? Quick start guide. So it's just the instructions and they come in a lot of languages. So we got in Japanese, we got Korean, we got the Italians, Russia. I don't know what AR is. Arabic and Pla. Pla. De. French and English. Yeah, um, if, sorry if I don't know the abbreviations for all the languages. I didn't say I was smart. And then it has this, like, glove thing. ASMR to soothe your soul. So it has this, like, glove thing. Um, this is so that, um, if you prefer to do so, you have this glove while you're drawing. I've never used them. My sister quite likes using them, though. But, yeah, see? I have small chubby hands, so it doesn't fit as good as it could. <laughs> And then, we get into these bad boys over here. So, our cords, USB, you plug this part into, is gonna focus? Plug this part into the tablet, plug this part into the computer. Here's your pen, you do not need to charge it, it tells you like six times you don't. And then your adapter, so if you don't wanna use it in your computer, you plug this, this part into the charging port of your Android phone, or this one, depending on the type of charging port your Android has. It comes with two. Thank you guys for sending two, because not everyone uses these ones yet, or some people have, like, slightly older models of the phone. And you plug this in here, and then you can plug this into the Android. Or maybe an Android tablet. I don't think it'll work on the iPad. But you can plug this in and use it as you please. So... So, what you do is you take this little bad boy, you stick it, sorry, in the USB port of your computer. Or maybe use it upside down. Nobody ever gets it right the first time. Or the second time. I don't think that's even the right one. Hold up. There we go. <laughs> we stick it in there. And then you take the side for over here. Um, yeah, I am explaining how to plug it in. Some people have trouble with that. Not me, though. I'm a smart boy. You plug that in there, and you get the little ding, 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 ding. And then, let's see, right there. Here's your drawing area. Oh, gotta unpackage the pen. I never undid that. Get out, pen! I'm wasting valuable time. And then you just draw. And then, whoop. So, I got a canvas, a pretty large canvas open. And, okay, I don't know what color it's picking. Oh, my God. So, I am using Metabane Paint, which is the computer version of the exact same program I use on my iPad. I like this program because I can use the cloud and move pictures from my computer to my iPad and vice versa. It makes working for on projects really easy because then I can edit it on my computer. A lot of programs are only for PC, so like that. Let's draw, let's draw something funny. I'm gonna draw a funky little cat. My baby, bouncing baby girl, Diana. <laughs> so, first impressions are that this, okay, Diana doesn't have a nose. Okay, that this works pretty, pretty smoothly. Um, let me see if I can, uh, what is that called again? Oh, good lord, I don't remember the settings. I don't know how to do the settings. Hey, I didn't ask you to do that. How do I change the settings again on the computer? Oh, I don't remember. Anyways, oh, correction, so. So, I'm seeing no difference. Let's see, maybe it's just acting funny. Sometimes my tablets and my computer do that, so it's probably just me. I'm seeing no, like, difference in correction, but it definitely is, like, or, like, stabilization, which I really like 
a smooth thing, but I'm seeing like it's working fine. So we'll I'll, after a few days of like fiddling with this thing, okay, we'll see how much I like it and how I feel about it. But so far it works. It works just as I expect a tablet to. Let's give her a belly button. I don't know what she's doing. Maybe she's farting. Or maybe she's running fast. Maybe that's not a fart line. That's like a fast line. She's just like moving so fast. But yeah, this works about how I'd expect the tablet to work. But after a few days of, you know, fiddling with it, we'll see. And you guys will see me in the future. So anyways, I decided to take this like basically as a moment to draw um, a magical girl version of Froppy because I love her and I think she's like the cutest character in the entire franchise. Like, oh my god, like I really like Ochiko, but I love Froppy. Oh my god, like she's just a creature. She's just a little creature. She cannot help this. She's so cute. She's so funny. Like I don't really watch it like that, but I think this is like, this is peak character design is Frog. Best characters. Kermit. And any other frogs you can think of. Karopi, oh my god, best characters ever. <laughs> like, I don't like real frogs. They kind of creep me out, but like cartoon frogs, nothing like a cartoon froggy. They're just there. They're just hanging around. I love them. Like, anyways, this has been the first time in maybe like two or three years that I've used a computer tablet to draw. And, like, I've done it for school. So, it's probably been a lot longer since I've gotten the tablet. Maybe like four or three three to four years instead since I got the iPad but I used to draw on a tablet like on my computer all the time I've used um Wacom tablets I've used Huion tablets I've used like the bamboo the Intuos I've done like other other things that the school provided me and I'm I'm pretty like what do you call it um not a tablet con connoisseur, but I'm pretty familiar with how to draw on a tablet. There is kind of a learning curve, like if you've never ever drawn on a tablet before, um, it's a little bit different. Like it's different from drawing on paper, but once you like really get in the hang of it, get yourself some good posture, like don't, don't stoop over like you would when drawing on paper. You gotta sit up straight and like, just like don't think too hard of it. Like just draw, you draw and stare at the screen and like, your hand will like guide you you know you don't have to like worry so much about like how can i draw with i can't see what i'm drawing like you'll you'll be able to do it it's like muscle memory it's like riding a bike but not really because you're not going anywhere but like you'll be able to get it don't worry but i definitely recommend the this the galmon tablet this one is the m um i'll put in the description or in the video i'll edit that in what kind i got and it it's it's a very good price it's about it's about 64 dollars but there is a coupon which i showed in the video that will save you ten dollars so and it'll get here really fast hopefully amazon won't put it in we'll put it in a box this time for you guys but it's like it's not a bad price at all it's pretty affordable and it works great like i have not had i didn't have any like real issues with it other than like I did have like a bit of an issue when I was setting it up with the drivers basically um it was taking it was not like pen pressure you know you know you expect the pen pressure and the stabilization when you're in a program and it wasn't acting right but it turned out like when you go to the page to download the drivers there there'll be like two drivers and I downloaded the newest one because you know I you always want to download the newest one, but it didn't work for me. It might work for you, so if you have like issues with it, like not drawing the way, feeling the way it should feel when you draw, you, you might want to download a different driver. And you can also use it on your phone. You just use the little adapter thingy, and you're able to draw. And I mean the screen's much smaller, but it'll do if you don't have a computer, or maybe your computer's in a repair shop, or you have like a Android tablet because you can't use an iPad tablet but if you have an Android tablet you can hook it up and that'll be pretty cool you'll be able to draw with it just fine and it'll work out a-okay so I definitely think this is a pretty good option if you don't have like a whole lot of money and you just want to get something fast from Amazon and you just want to make sure that you get you get what you get you know Ugh. oh my god sorry for like um grunting and stuff um i have 
this horrible condition and it's called that mosquitoes think that I'm delicious and they keep biting me and they bit my ankles and made me hurt so bad that I couldn't sleep and they bit my butt. So um, I am trying very, very hard <laughs> to not scratch. The ones on my ankles are better. Like on my shirt, yeah, they're definitely mosquito bites. But like, oh my God, I that's the one issue with living in hot places is there are so many bugs, mosquitoes, they love me and I hate them so much. But like, yeah, if you guys have any suggestions for um, more non Yandere simulator drawings, because I know everyone wants that. But if you have any suggestions for something else, because that's not the only thing I want to draw, you know, let me know. I know that I did like um, redesigns for like Monster High and I might, I kind of want to do more Monster High. Like I want to redo Draculaura kind of and do Elizabeth and then do like, um, like kind of like a more modern-y look with Draculaura with like a much more traditional mixed with like contemporary kind of style for Elizabeth because I feel like Elizabeth is definitely much more like she's more traditionally goth whereas Draculaura could totally pull off a much more modern twist for it like I know this video isn't about her but I'm just thinking about it like a lot of people are like why why not on my video but a lot of people in general are like oh I don't like when people um interpret Draculaura as an e-girl but I feel like she could pull off a much more contemporary look but I, I don't know, maybe I'll like do something like, if I ever draw her again, I'll definitely draw her with Elizabeth. And I do want to draw um, Cleo Denial too soon. And I should draw Honey Swamp because I think she's so cute. But this video is not about Monster High, it's just I've been thinking about them lately. Like I've been thinking about them and the rat stalls, oh my gosh. So, um, you guys, if you guys don't like follow dolls, like just collecting and stuff, Bratz, the, you know, Bratz dolls, like Bratz, Bratz, they, um, they re-released the original dolls, Hot Topic exclusive. I stayed, not stayed up all night, but I was stalking the page all day, all day long. And I turned around for like five minutes to call my, my brother was calling me. And then I was like scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. And I'm like, okay, I'm not seeing them. Where is the dolls? I go on, um, Facebook to check the doll group I'm in and there was a post that was about 10 minutes ago saying that the dolls were up and I clicked them and they are all sold out. Every single doll sold out within 10 minutes. And I'm so upset. Like I was waiting on my check and I was waiting and I was like, well, if I don't get my check, I can use the credit card. I, I'm ready to get these dolls. I'll pay back as soon as I get this money. Oh my God, I was ready to get them and they sold out and I'm like really, really upset about that. And they did come back like for a short period, it was Chloe and Sasha and I was gonna get them. But at that point, <laughs> I spent most of my money. I spent most of it because I bought like a whole bunch of like accessories for my room, for my computer, bought a lot of clothes. And I was like, the dolls, I am not gonna get them for a while. So I might as well just use my money on something else. They showed up for a minute and I just didn't wanna spend like the money for it, especially because Hot Topic is kind of overpriced. But yeah, Bratz is coming back too. And I'm like super excited. And I really, really hope that they bring back more of the characters for collector dolls. Especially, I really like Felicia. I really, really love her. I really want more Megans because she's like my favorite um, Bratz friend. Cause she's, you know, she was the OG. And I was like obsessed with her as a kid. I even used to sing, um, you know, the, um, what was it? The song from Beach Party Bratz that was like, Yasmin, Chloe. Except I would add Megan in it and I would be like, the newish addition to the Bratz pack, Megan. But I was like like that because I was like eight and I was really bad at singing. I would just like shout it like Megan. I loved her. She was like my, she was my girl. And then they like retired her for a minute, but then they brought her back. And then by then lo, the Toys R Us by my house closed. So I wasn't able to get more dolls. But I'm like super excited about that. Like I'm low key excited about the Monster High, but like Bratz is me. That's what I was into when I was a kid. Like Barbie, yeah, sure. But Bratz was everything. Bratz was it. They're the it girls. And like I don't care if it's all if they don't do the Y2K thing. Like I want to see them do contemporary fashions. I don't really care if 
they don't do Y2K. I want to see the brats in like modern looks, you know? Like I want to see them in something. I'd like to see them in like, I don't like, you know, more like alternative fashions too. And like, oops, I broke a little. I want to see them in like TikTok trends and all that stuff. I know that y'all be like, ugh, TikTok stuff, but it's like, meh. I dressed stupid when I was a kid too. I was like, wanted to be a scene kid, but I couldn't afford to be one, so I dressed like really badly. <laughs> like rainbow studded belts. I tried to tease my hair to get scene hair, but I had curly hair. So I tried to cut it and the shrinkage made it look crazy. I really wanted to look like that though. I thought my dog was in here. I was like, what? Why is she in here? I closed the door. I was like so confused. <laughs> but yeah, I'm like so excited about Bratz. Is there anything you guys are like really, really, really excited about like right now? Like anything at all? Like what's going on in the world? Like aside from that, um, not really much else is going on. I am getting um more clothes i ordered i could show you guys in a story because i ordered like this really cute cushion for my chair or i have a tiktok i don't upload too much though just just to talk but i could link that if you guys are interested in like seeing me just ramble for short videos you know but i ordered like this cushiony thing that i saw on tiktok this like stand for my phone a new mouse pad i ordered a new brush because i have like really really crazy hair i got this tangle teaser brush which i've never used before and oh my god i can't believe i've never used it before because it was like everything it made my hair feel so detangled it felt it was so easy it was like butter i know this isn't a review for them but like i'm so excited about my hair <laughs> and then i ordered oh my god i ordered these like hanging things for my headphones that when you hang them a little cat pops out those are so funny then i got like organizing stuff but I'm like, I had a lot of fun spending money this this month. Um, but I know I also should be um, uploading more, which I'm going to do. I have another video that is on my Patreon because it's not quite ready to go up yet. But yeah, oh my gosh, like the drawing, it was finally getting, to, I'm like really proud of like the jelly look to the shorts that I did. Like, oh my gosh. Like... It, I wanted it to look like kind of clear, but it looks more like jelly and that's like cool But I'm like Really happy with um the coloring for this even though I feel like I could have gone a little bit harder But at this point it was taking so long to draw this like not even like Any difference with like what is it called learning curve or like not used to drawing It was just like the picture was too big the picture was too big. It was taking forever to color so I had to like get this done but i'm like really happy with that. i tried to do i wanted to do like goggles keep her goggles at the least because you know they look like froggy things i did change her hair bow thing to an actual hair bow just because like it's a magical girl you know and then i you know i kept a lot of the same things like her frog shoes i tried to keep the color scheme for the most part the same but like brighten it up i had lots of lily pads and flowers and she has to have a crown because even well yeah you know, the princess and the frog, the frog princess, you kiss the frog, she becomes a princess, except Suyu is already a queen. Oh my gosh, she is already a queen. But yeah, I had like a lot of fun drawing this, even though it took me a long time and it was difficult. And I, But I definitely like re recommend trying out this tablet. I will link it in the description and I'll add a pinned comment so you guys can check it out if you're interested in getting a tablet and you really want to draw um, digitally, but you don't know what to start with this is like a pretty good starter tablet and they do have like better um they have more tablets in like different um what do you call those levels levels of tablets so they have more expensive ones higher quality ones and stuff like that so if you want to try other ones go ahead i have not tried them but this one's a pretty good one i definitely recommend it anyways i hope you guys like this video even if it was a little bit rambly um I've just been having fun this week, and I hope you guys had fun too, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you. Bye-bye.